Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is October 15th. It's a Thursday morning and I'm about to head out to my doctor's appointment to check up on baby girl and to see how my placenta is doing, to check her growth and all of that. Um, I'm really optimistic that we're gonna hear good news. Um, I still have no spotting or cramping. I've been able to find her heart rate every day since I got home from the ER using my at-home Doppler and her heart rate is always really good, usually in the 140s. Um, so I feel like I should hear some good news. At least I'm hoping and that's what I've been praying for and all of you guys have been praying for that too and that means so much to me. So thank you guys so much for all of your prayers. I'm going to update you guys as soon as I know what's going on. We're about to head out here in like five minutes. Adam's eating breakfast out there. He's going to take me to my appointment. He took off work this morning, so we're going to go together. He can't go in with me to my appointment, but he'll just be waiting in the car for me while I go in. So anyways, I was able to take a shower yesterday and wash my hair and I felt like putting on some makeup this morning just to like get me in a good mood. Um, I feel good mentally, emotionally, physically. So yeah, we're off to a good start this morning, but I will update you guys as soon as I get back. Okay, I'm back home now from my appointment. I'm gonna sit down so I can talk to you guys because, okay. I went in and got my ultrasound done and the ultrasound tech was really nice she was kind of explaining things to me like about the baby because the baby is measuring right on track she's measuring at 15 weeks and six days um so perfectly healthy um she was moving around like crazy her heart rate was 166 so baby looks good um and she took measurements and everything and then I went into the room to wait for my doctor to be seen by him. And he came in and he had me lay down again to find her heart rate because we couldn't get like a good read on the ultrasound, the initial one, because she moves around like crazy. So he just wanted to get another good read on it, um, which he did. And then he sat me up and basically told me nothing. He basically told me that there's now this, I should have grabbed the ultrasound picture, I'll show you guys. Um, there's now a whole separate issue than when we initially went in, when I went into the ER and I when I went in to see my OB to follow up. So the partial tear, there's no tear anymore. I guess my placenta looks good, it looks healthy, it looks normal. Um, but now there's this extra mass or lobe or blood clot or we don't know what it is and he couldn't tell me what it is and so he said he wants me to go um meet with a high risk doctor so that they can perform a better ultrasound because they have more high-tech machines over at their practice so he basically didn't have any answers for me and i was so confused asking him like both my ER doctor and you told me that there was a tear. Is that tear still there? Is that did that tear heal? Was that why I was bleeding? I I was I'm just so confused and I still am so confused. And he couldn't tell me really. He's like your placenta now looks fine. I'm like, "Okay, well, was that the issue then?" And he 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 doesn't know. He doesn't have any answers. And I can't give you guys an update about this on Instagram initially when I first found out and a lot of you guys are like this doctor like you it looks like you need a new doctor and honestly I wish I could change doctors because I'm kind of getting the same feeling um but it took a long time for us to even find this doctor because of our insurance there's like no doctors in this area that take our insurance and this was like one of the only doctors and so I'm gonna see if I can switch to a different doctor in the same practice and um, we'll see what they say but I wish I had more answers for you guys I wish I had more answers for myself I am so glad and happy at least that she's still measuring on track and she's growing and she looks great uh, my fluid looks great my placenta now looks great 
but there is this extra mass that we're not sure what is and it could be nothing it could be something that could affect the pregnancy it, I, we just don't know and I don't have any answers and I don't know when I'm gonna get answers because the clinic is making my appointment for me for the high-risk doctor so I'm waiting for a call back from my OB's office to let me know when that appointment is um, and go from there so I don't know, even know when I'm gonna be able to go in to get seen from this high-risk doctor I'm hoping it's soon but I have a feeling it's not gonna be for another week or so I have no idea I just don't know so um, I don't know I just feel I don't know how to feel like I'm, I'm excited that she's healthy I just wish I had more answers um, Anyways, I have the paper from the ER, and the paper says here, um, possible placenta abruption. So it says it right here, possible placenta abruption. And both my doctors said the same thing, that my placenta was starting to tear. And so when I asked him, like, did my tear heal, he really just couldn't tell me. Um, I think it did heal. I think there was a tear there and me taking it really, really easy ended up healing that. But my doctor honestly couldn't even give me an answer. Um, I'm going to get the ultrasound photo. Um, it's out in my purse and show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is the only photo that he sent me home with, um, with a hard copy at the practice I'm seen at. They do it all like over the phone so they sent me a link to view my ultrasound photos so I'll show you guys those of the baby um but this okay so here is the baby this is my placenta up here and this is I guess what we're worried about now so we don't know what this extra mass is um so he said there's a possibility but he doesn't know for sure that so this is my bag of water the black part this is the baby placenta and then this extra mass he said this mass right here could have like descended down um because it's behind my bag of waters right now it could have descended down and like bled out a little bit and that's why i had that bleeding um and then like got pushed back up i don't know but he doesn't know for sure we just don't have answers right now so that's the update. I wish I had more of an update for you, but I'm focusing right now on the positive that baby girl is healthy. She is doing well in there. Her heart rate is great. And I just can't wait to like feel her movement soon. Um, 15 weeks, six days. So 16 weeks pregnant tomorrow. Um, my placenta is um, anterior. So it always takes me a little bit longer for me to feel movements my placenta is always anterior um so I usually don't feel kicks until like 19 weeks or so um so hopefully in a few weeks I'll be able to feel her movements but that's the update so far I wish I had more for you guys but thank you so so much for all of the prayers they are definitely working she is doing great in there I'm doing great bleeding cramping is nowhere to be found knock on wood but i'm just happy that she's good that's all i could ever ask for um and i'm hoping that i get in soon to see this high-risk doctor and he's able or she's able to give me more answers because right now my doctor just can't give them to me so thank you guys again for everything your support your prayers, your love. I feel it and I appreciate it. It means the world to me. And as soon as I know more, I will update you guys as soon as I can. Bye.